Hello everybody and welcome to Live at Five. It is Thursday, February the 18th. We have a very special guest from Kinky Boots, Courtney Wilson. And before that, we've got Joanne Villani, who Hello. I recognise from previous Lives at Five, yes. before we redid everything. Yes. And Joanne has been at Boy.com for how many years? Almost 12. Joanne knows everything. I call her my road Not entirely. Not. So often She's I'll, me. I, 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 I basically, <laughs> I ask Joanne questions the whole time, which is very useful because uh, we've just put this live on the site. Ryan McPhee has just written this, put this up. Hairspray live, has set a date, December the 7th. Yes. Directed by Kenny Leon, who of course did the Wiz Live. Right. So yes. looking good already. Yeah. Now Harvey Firestein yes. is going to do the book. Now the he book. did the book for the Wiz Live, but talk to me about what he did originally with Hairspray he on Broadway. He starred as Edna in Hairspray originally. Yeah. And that was starting almost how long ago like 12 years ago there you so, go yeah so he'll be involved so in he's involved too. in that mm -hmm. now we don't know if he's going to be edna no we don't know that but yet. he is going to be writing the book yet. so maybe he'll be putting himself in, in a good word for himself yes and then there's jerry mitchell choreographing so you've right. got an a-list team so basically yes. nbc you know greece fox did a great job with greece very good job nbc are coming you know yes. straight back in with hairspray live I mean, it's gonna be very fun i think i'm very excited about i think it. and also it's, it's it's the most modern one that they've done it is and i like it is. that it's the I most recent yeah yeah, yeah. But they're, and they're i feel like that. a lot of people have actually are familiar with it too yeah. so it's gonna be a lot of fun. we can all sing along we can basically yes. and do the dance yes movements. so that's all good yes now i was at the uh american psycho media day mm -hmm. earlier on today Very uh nice. and you <laughs> you did a hot shot i did i did a meet the meet the cast picture um with the stars who are alice ripley jen damiano ben walker and helena york yeah and then there's another photo of the um, entire crew there the, and the video is up of the performances yes so there's going to be a pop hole video which i did which yes. I, I think might be up later today and then my full video report will be mm -hmm. probably the weekend otherwise you'll be saturated but i have to say i'm little miss cynic over here i see everything i hate most things to be honest <laughs> uh love love the color purple but you know i really i mean it's it's tricky however I saw American Psycho and I had my doubts to be honest because mm -hmm. just know the subject matter and stuff. Right. But it looks like it's going to be incredible and witty and funny and tight. And yeah. but obviously we couldn't see the sets and everything today. But by the sounds of it, they've got someone on board who did all the designs, does all the designs for Beyonce. For Beyonce. So I think it might be a little bit like Curious Incident. I mm -hmm. think the set might just blow everybody's just kind mind. Just have little tricks and, so and magic around. that's one to watch, American Psycho. And, and Paul came with me and saw the performances, and he had the same reaction. Yeah, and even the clips that they have, like they're doing choreography. Yeah. There's there's like little sleight of hand tricks involved. So it's really neat if you're yeah. curious. So those clips really will give you a taste of what it's gonna be absolutely like. yeah finding neverland uh this keeps being in the news um apparently it is going to london now in 2017 gary barlow previously told me gary barlow previously <laughs> told me that it was going to be london 2016. i don't know which theater it's going into yet so when i find right. out i will let you know that's always Probably. a question i mean you deal with all the london show babies yeah yeah there's always different things coming in and out just like here it's just like you yeah, never yeah. know you got to figure out what the um, real estate and is going to be a lot of shows want to go into the west end and a lot of shows want to come to broadway but they need theaters yep it's always the key yep. uh right fresh face you can oh, say yes. her name so I haven't got the fresh right face yet. today is with anna o'reilly who is in the robber bedroom which i believe begins previews tonight yeah, yeah. um and we have a Four photos of her because Caitlin took so many great She's photos. So of gorgeous. <laughs> she had to include all of them. So gorgeous. Um, so definitely get to know her. Yeah, um, check her out the site. Um, F. Murray Abraham is going to be joined by Stark Sands, who was in Kinky Boots, uh, in Nathan the Wise Off Broadway at Classic yes. Sage Company. That looks, yes. could be interesting. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, oh, this was interesting. It went up earlier this morning. Tony winner Chuck Cooper will join Skylar Aston, Bianca Marroquin, and Morgan Hernandez for West Side Story, yes. Carnegie Hall. Yes, and it's actually, I believe, in a warehouse. It's not actually- oh, It's not at Carnegie Hall. At Carnegie Hall, it's in like a restructured warehouse. And um, that's okay. March, March 4th through 6th, I believe. There you go. Yes, see, see, Joanne <laughs> knows everything. I know nothing. This that's is not she, true. She, no, no, she knows no, a lot. I don't. Uh, the Humans opens tonight. Uh, check out Squigs. Uh, he did a lovely sketch. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, odds and ends today. I got a bit British today. Sorry, everybody. I sometimes do that. The Chichester Theatre Festival, which is a bit like Williamstown in the, but in the UK, um, they've got some really interesting people. Joseph Fiennes is going to play Lawrence of Arabia in Terence Rattigan's Ross. I mean, Joseph Fiennes, Shakespeare in love, everybody. Hugh Bonneville, who was in Downton Abbey, um, he's doing Ibsen's An Enemy of the People. And this is also interesting. So Karen McIntosh, who produced Cats, Phantom, Les Mis, mm -hmm. Saigon, you know, mm -hmm. him. He's co-created a new version of a musical called Half a Sixpence alongside Julian Fellows, 
who uh, wrote Downton Abbey and who also wrote the book for School of Rock, the musical which is currently on Broadway. So, I don't know, William Stein, sometimes those shows that Chichester are ones to watch because they might come to the West End, they might come to Broadway, the same with Williamstown Where shows. Where they get started. Yeah. Uh, Lives ex begin. <laughs> exactly that. Um, there's a fun thing as well linking into the uh, uh, to the broadcast we did yesterday with Kate Rinders. Yes, um, she said yesterday that she thought that they should honor the Globe, right? Yeah, they, 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 they yes. should honor the they 400th honor the anniversary, anniversary of the Globe. Of, of no, put on anniversary of Shakespeare's oh, death. Shakespeare's death. Sorry. Uh, anyway. And um, Shakespeare's going to they just announced that. that they're doing yeah. that. So. So there we are, we'll call, um, we'll call and Barbara Streisand and Jamie Foxx are teaming up on The Sound of Music. Don't even ask, have a look at odds and ends. Right, I think news is done, okay. so Very we'll good. bring on Courtney Wolfson. Um, and yes. Yay, you got, uh, Yay. Oh, thank you, Joanne oh, Pilani. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Courtney Wolfson is here, look at the hearts. Wow. Welcome to oh, Lila Oh, nice. And this is your Periscope, the first Periscope. Yeah, I didn't even know it was until about 25 minutes oh, ago. Oh, you will now, you will now. <laughs> Um, so, were you? Did you do Kinky with Stark? I did. did yes. You cross over? Yes, we did cross over. I did kiss Stark Sands. Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> like twice. Like twice. Yeah. Okay. So, how is life over at Kinky Boots? It's so fun. It's the best show to do. I just love it. I, I've been there almost, well, just over two and a half years now, and it's still fun, which is extraordinary. How do you keep it fresh? I think, for me, that's not super. hard. Hard. I don't know. I'm so busy during the day doing a gazillion things that when I get to Kinky Boots, it's kind of like my break. <laughs> so I get to go on stage and just have fun. I love the cast. They're like family, as cliche as it sounds. I love everyone. And we're just a big, crazy, mania-filled family. Do you have any sort of dressing room quirks that you sort of go in and to get yourself in into your role? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know about necessarily into my role, but I have Christmas lights year round. Year round. <laughs> and it sets the mood a little bit when I get there. It's one of my Christmas lights. I also have a fish named Haven after Haven, Haven. Burton. Love who that. Who used to be in the cast. And uh, I like to go in and just kind of zen out and turn my humidifier on and maybe listen to a little cereal on NPR. Um, and Wayne Brady's currently leading the cast. Yes. Yes. And then you've got a new Lola coming in. We do, we so, do. Talk to me how this works. I've always been fascinated by this because with, the, with with people stepping into roles, like they just have to basically turn up and do the show. I mean, there are no preview periods or whatever. Yeah, essentially, they yeah. turn up and do the show. So how does the, how does put in process work? I mean, will you have one sort of show, you know, what one rehearsal well, with Alan? Well, for Wayne, it was a little bit different because he was in and out of town. He was still flying to L.A. and back to shoot Let's Make a Deal. Right. So he was in and out. He had some rehearsals and then would leave and then came back yeah. and did some more rehearsals. So he rehearsed with some of the principals. I mean, Wayne and I don't cross paths on stage yeah. very often. We have one minute scene together. And then the rest of the cast is kind of surrounding him the whole time. But he came in, and then we did maybe like two or three put-ins with right. him. But he's thrown to the wolves like yeah. everyone else, just because he's a star. He didn't get a lot of special oh. treatment. And I do, I find it absolutely incredible. And I just sort of do it. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. It it's amazing. Especially for people who aren't used to going into a show and just being thrown in and replacing. It's like, you know, all of us are sort of used to it. But when somebody just comes in and does it, it's always extraordinary. He's amazing. Uh, now, have there been any, any onstage mishaps? This is one of favorite questions on Live at Five. Oh, gosh, yeah. Every, I mean, the best is when there's a, like, forgotten prop and the scene depends on it. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> the guy who, who stars as Charlie is Andy Kelso. And one day there's a scene where the phone rings, he answers it and finds out his father dies. It's not a spoiler alert. It happens at the top of the show. <laughs> and the phone rings, and I'm on stage with him. And the phone continues to ring. And he looks at me and says, do you have my phone? <laughs> and I said, no. And I started <laughs> digging through a prop box that there's definitely no phone in because it's supposed to be planted in his coat. <laughs> and so instead of um, just like walking off stage, he asked me and I didn't. And then I kept rummaging through a box <laughs> till he eventually ran off stage and grabbed an actual phone from a crew guy. And okay. And was like, hello. It was great. I love that. We, have we love that. Every day. And this like is what happens with live theater. This is why we love Broadway. <laughs> When did you fall in love with theatre? I mean, was there a teacher at school? Did you I, see, I don't know, a touring production? I mean, ha what happened? Fall in love. Oh, gosh. I think oh, it's so hard because I liked it when I was young, but I didn't really know what that meant because I'm from Indiana where they're really, we didn't have a lot of that. Mm. We did show choir. 
So I fell in love with show, performing. Show choir. I think. So you were in the <laughs> choir. So have you ever seen Glee? Yes. That's basically what my actual life was. Okay. I can't actually can't watch Glee because it gives me agita. Oh dear. Like it reminds me of my like actual real life high Michelle. school, <laughs> real life past. But what they did in show choir where I'm from is they took snippets of Broadway musicals and we would do selections from the Wild Party, but we take all the curse words out, mm. which is hard to do. Andrew Lip is a Wild Party without any sort of like sexual innuendo or profanity but we did it as 17 year olds and I fell in love with it doing that yeah. and I was like how does this translate to an actual career or whatever yeah. and then I decided to go to college and major in music theater before I'd ever seen a Broadway show I'd okay. never been to New York so that's amazing took one giant it's leap new yeah and now you're, not, you're here on Broadway now we like to make dreams come true at Broadway.com so Norm Lewis spent years telling us that he wanted to be Phantom on Broadway and he was so are there any dream roles for you out there that you'd absolutely love to do so if I tell you do? this is going to make it, it happen it's about manifesting <laughs> things it's putting it out there you never know who's going to be watching my dream roles are so silly uh I Sydney's love good. Disney. I just I You wanna be a Disney princess? I do. I've I never lost that. The I the older I oh, get Frozen's it. coming to Broadway Listen, everybody. Frozen, Beauty and the Beast, any Disney revival, I would take anything. I would but some of the roles are ethnic, so it's hard to fit me into some of the like yeah. Disney <laughs> places that no, they've well, got. As I say, Frozen. Come yeah, oh, yeah, I'm you in. Know, you're, I'd you're love that. to. You're up for that. The answer is yes, I'm in. Now, you did mention a bit earlier that you've got lots of other things going on in the day, haven't you? Not yes. just new. So talk to me. You've got a photography business with your husband, yes. Curtis Holbrook. Yes, we have. He's also an actor. He was in If Then, and he's going to be in SpongeBob. Yes. This is his 11th Broadway show he's going to do. He's crazy. He does it all. Okay. So um, the photography business. Talk we uh, have a business called Curtis and Court Photography. It's a photography business. I do the makeup. He does the photos. Oh, wow. And we primarily do actor headshots but we also do a ton of other stuff. We're doing an engagement shoot next week. We do stuff for people's websites. We did something for Dance Magazine. We just shot something today for another magazine, a New York mm -hmm. magazine. So it's it's fun, it's booming. It's super fun to do something totally different during the day, but we also get to work with actors who we love. But also you know what they need. You know, you, they, you can We know what them. they need and we also just know, I think, how hard it is. So it's kind of yeah. fun to be little therapist too <laughs> and we meet the coolest people because everyone who is in this business walks in and has a crazy story so fair enough awesome. now I always like to end bringing it back to the show back to Kinky Boots why do you think it speaks to people so I mean it's been such a huge success well I think for one reason it's at the right time in America and all over the world whatever is happening here it's so topical yeah. with all of the gay rights movement that has come about right now and interestingly enough it's not necessarily about the gay rights movement because Wayne Brady is not necessarily playing it yeah. as a gay man which is even cooler but about cross-dressing and drag queens and, tra and the trans community and everything that's happening right now I think it speaks to people just because it's on everyone's mind and people mm. are so much more open to it but aside from that it's just a story about being who you are, which is a message that's totally timeless and always topical. And I think people come in and just really enjoy themselves and are moved by people learning from each other and getting to know each other and just saying, you can be who you are, it doesn't matter what that means. Well, it's beautiful. Go. It it's is beautiful. Well, Courtney Wilson, thank you very much for joining us thank at Live you. at Five. Thank you everybody for joining us at Live at Five. We will see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.